Hi guys, welcome to another A1 video walk round. Um, shall I tell you how this is going to go? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's got a lovely Samantha behind the camera. Say hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Uh, got the fairly average looking Kev right in front of the camera. Say hi, Kev. Hi, Kev. Uh, we've got an Audi Q5 today. It's a 2020 plate. This is a, an S Line 40 edition. Very nice car, this, Sam. It is? Yeah. Well, you said surprise. Is that a surprise? It is. Or As in, it, it is. is? Tell it us. Is. It is. It is. Uh, right, this is how it's going to work. Lovely Samantha is going to take you around the outside of the vehicle. And uh, I will take you around the inside of the vehicle, tell you all the specification it's got. It's got quite a lot of spec. We'll take you for a quick ride around the block, and there'll be a couple of minutes at the end just to tell you what we give away. Now, now while Sam's taking you around the outside, I'm going to spit some specification at you. Okay. Boom. Right, ready? Yeah. Let's do this. So this is a 2020 plate. I think it's, I think it's June registered. Um, so it's not, uh, it's not quite two years old yet, and the Audi warranty runs until June 2023. Uh, so it's the Q5 2.0 litre TDI, the 40 S line version with the S Tronic, excellent S Tronic, and four wheel drive Quattro system. Uh, just done, just over 14,000 miles, Samantha. Love that. Almost like new. In lovely neck, isn't he? Kept it, Keith. Yes. Yeah. Looking really nice. Yeah. Um, what's quite nice about this as well, it's got two sets of mats with it. So it's got the carpet mats and it's got the rubber winter over mats. Uh, it's also got the rubberized boot tray and the Audi roof bars. Perfect. All fop, free of charge. <laughs> you thought I'd sworn then, didn't you? I did, really, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's just fuck, free of charge. Uh, okay, so 0 to 62 is 8.1 seconds, top speed is 136, four cylinder, 16 valves, 100, nearly 190 brake, loads of torque, nearly 300 uh, pounds per foot of torque, and the fuel consumption is 38 miles per gallon combined. That's in, in town and out of town as a mix. Happy with that? Yeah, I think so. Should we have a look around the inside, my lovely? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's take you uh, underneath here. Obviously, our detailers have been at this car, so it's looking sweet oh. It is. Yeah. Uh, this is the 2 litre TDI, it's the Audi VW lump. Um, bulletproof, reliable, e excellent, excellent fuel economy, loads of torque, loads of mid range. Works really well with this uh, S Tronic gearbox, or as the in the Gulf, it's called the uh, DSG. Um, so then let's take you to the boots. Obviously, we don't Ooh. want to lift them up manually, do we? No, absolutely not. Um, so we've got the over mat in here. All the seats go down. I'll tell you what I might do just quickly. If I just fold down this one, you can see what I'm chatting about. I'm saying it's, got some, it's got some big size on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to be uh, getting a lot of stuff in there for the dump run. Yep. Yeah. I reckon at least 12 cakes of beer, actually. <laughs> I was going to say, how many packs of peas? Packs of peas? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it depends on your pack size. True. Uh, but I think if you said uh, a thousand gram bag, a kilogram bag of peas, which is pretty standard. Yeah. I reckon you'd get 2,312 if you pack the footwells as well. Nice. Good answer. Thanks. And no one will prove it, because who's going to buy 2,300 packs of peas? <laughs> Test it out. Uh, underneath here, we have a very handy bit of storage as well. Lovely. Yeah. As well as the tyre foam thing kit as well. That pulls over. Happy days. Okay, what I quite like in the back here, Sam. Yes. Is I like the protection on here. So, um, Obviously, my kids wouldn't kick the back of my seat because otherwise they'd be walking. Yeah, they'd be walking. You hear that, Sarah? Yeah. Uh, but if I was taking some other kids, maybe one of their friends who is not as well brought up or as unruly, um, I'm not getting uh, booted in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if well, it was an accident. Uh, then they can walk. <laughs> you know, kids got to know their place, haven't they, right? Exactly. Uh, what I do like, though, is it's got a separate uh, heating control down here. Uh, so you can set it whatever temperature you want and you get your separate aircon. So it's got a 12 volt socket. Uh, we've also got a uh, lovely armrest for me. Lovely. Um, obviously I'm six foot one, so I'm a big boy. 
loads of room. Uh, and we've got isofix points for the kids if you really want to keep them safe, uh, which obviously you do. Uh, so into the front here, I might just turn this on actually. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've got, what have we got there, Sam? You can tell us. We've got heated and a folding electric mirrors, yes. electric windows all around the child locks down there. Oh yeah, that, now that child locks the door and the window, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Um, can I show them this? Because I really like this. Yeah. This is um, what we call the virtual cockpit. So it's a full digital dash. All the dials are, are digital and you can change what's, ever, what's in here as well. But at the moment, it's got the navigation in the middle. So you don't actually um, have to look at the screen. Um, so it's better for driving, apparently. It is. I quite like it. Uh, I love the S-Line interior. I've always liked these seats. They've got the extendable bits there if you've got really weird shaped legs where... You know, for some reason, you've got an extra three inches or four inches to the knee. I mean, <laughs> oh, there's someone at home going, oh, that's me, actually. Uh, I was taking the mick out of my legs. I don't I don't know anyone who's ever used them. So, you know, it's there. Yes. Yeah, I've been a bit, bit pedantic there. Not really. I, th I think it's quite uncomfortable to extend it, it but ridiculous. it's there yeah, if but, you need it. But so. to be fair, your, your, your legs are about the same size as a True. small baby. True. <laughs> um, right, we've got um, electronic lumbar support here, which is really good for me. I have a bad lower back, so that's a really good height adjuster. Um, obviously, front and back there, and we've got the recliner there. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Can I can I borrow that camera again? Yeah. Okay. So what we've got here is you've got flappy paddles both sides. So that's for the gearbox. Um, if you do want to change it manually, I don't really get it, but you know, whatever. Um, that is your cruise control and speed limiter. You've obviously got all of the functionality for the stereo, hands-free, all that kind of business. Um, all the wiper stuff there. Uh, what else we've got? Oh yeah, down here, look. Um, so we've got the auto uh, stop start function. Um, we've got full gearbox. Uh, which is the S-Tronic gearbox, which is great, which you can flick over and do manually, plus and minus, but you might as well use the paddles, or you might as well just leave it in automatic, really, because why are you buying a car with auto and then changing it manually? Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, it's not it's like you're going to be racing it around the Nürburgring, is it? No. Bizarre. Uh, it has got this quite cool thing as well, um, which I can sort of fiddle with that. And, um, the route is being calculated. Oh, it's telling me where the nearest petrol station is. Well, that's good, isn't it? It is, because we do need some fuel, actually. Um, heated seats, both sides. Uh, dual zone climate control. Uh, sorry, that's the auto start stop. That's park Please assist. All right. She's very bossy, isn't she? Very bossy, actually. Uh, start stop. Uh, this is keyless start as well. Um, I think, is that about it? Have we got anything more? I think so. Oh, think... Bluetooth, music streaming, Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth hands-free, DAB. Oh, dynamic drive, isn't it? Yeah, drive select, so you can change it between, like, sporty, comfort, eco. I mean, does anyone ever put it in eco? Mm, I'm sure there are a few people. I've never put it in eco in my life. Just the fastest one, please. Yes. Uh, okay, should we go for a drive? I think that's about it in here. Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay, let's go for a drive. Okay, let's, uh, let's go for a drive. I can't see a bloody thing. Right, here we go. So, I mean, I've, re I've had loads of these of an IQ5s, Q3s, Q7s. Yeah. We've had, I've had A7s, A6s, S3s, RS3s, RSQ3s. Yeah. Uh, A1. Right and then oh, no, I've put this on now, haven't I? Do I turn it off? Do us a favour. Ah, oh, lovely. Stop great. Stop great. Well done. Um, yeah, we like the Audi range. Like basically, I think Audi is a really nice blend of you know what the Merc and the BMs offer you. They're really nice inside. They're really well appointed. They drive, you know, really, really well. Uh, they're nice and light on the steering, um, where the BMWs are pretty hard, aren't they? They are, yeah. And the ride is really good because then then you tend to use uh, run flat, uh, run flat tyres. I just find the seats in the Audis nicer than both of the others. I think. Yeah, I would agree actually. Um, oh look at that! Just beat that dude out there. All right, let's give it some beans. Let's do the sixty test. Realised to be comfort mode. Right, that's 60. Um, should I slow down now? Yeah. It's 
a fast road though, isn't it? It is a fast road. Uh, so we're doing uh, a decent speed, and um, what can you hear? Not very much at all. Oh, a lot, is there? Nope. Not really a lot of cabin noise at all, really. Uh, very, very comfortable on the ride. My oh, gosh, I'm really impressed with this. Yeah, it's a really nice place to be, actually, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, we do a lot of cars, and I've owned a lot of cars. Probably have one of these, I think. I like it. Yeah, I like it, actually. And a really nice ride. It's not too hard, it's not too soft. And what you get in a lot of SUVs is they can be quite soft. You might need to hang to the camera because I'm just trying to throw it around this roundabout and see what it handles like. Okay. Get round here at 30. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a fan. Um, well, that did alright, didn't it? Yeah. Get the four wheel drive to kick in a little bit, I think. Exactly. So, I think, you know, to sort of sum up this a bit, you, you've got a really nicely point, a pointed interior, no cheap materials. Fantastic to drive, really nice and light feel without it being um, vague. I think that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Uh, it's got loads of spec on it. It's a really good looking car. I think perhaps the one thing that I might do is, you know I like to make my cars look a bit sick. Yes. Thinking like maybe an R RSQ5 grille. Oh yeah. Wrap the uh, silver bits in black. Yeah, Make nice. black the wheels. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, that would look cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, fancy getting that done, just ask us. We'll get that done here. Probably talking about 1,000, 1,200 quid? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, I think so. That would look sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. If you want any pictures of ones we've done on other cars, give us a shout and I'll WhatsApp them over. Um, so, yeah, I think if you're looking for a really nice mid-sized 4x4 SUV-sized car, why not buy one of these? Buy this one. In fact, this one is mint, isn't it? It is, yeah. He's really well looked after that. You know someone that buys um, two sets of mats and a boot mat and then buys some roof bars and only uses them once? Yeah. You know they uh, like their car, don't you? Yeah, 100%. Apparently, he used to um, he used to polish it just with his wife runs. With his what? <laughs> with his wife runs. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you thought I was being serious, didn't you? Yeah, I, I did. Mean, who the hell wears wife fronts in there nowadays? Well. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. Oh dear. Right, should we go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, nice one. See you later. Hi guys, well I hope you've uh, enjoyed our video so far and uh, you've enjoyed looking around the vehicle and going for a little drive with me and Sam. Uh, so we just want to go through a few bits and pieces uh, just to tie everything up and give you all the information about buying a car from A1 Car Search. So firstly, we are an RAC approved dealer. Uh, that means you get a, a lot of extra stuff when you buy the car through us. But mainly it means that the car's gone through the RAC approved inspection scheme, which means our workshop here has rigorously gone through the vehicle and make sure that, you know, if the brakes are less than 40%, we've changed them. If the tyres are less than three or four mil, we've changed them. Uh, so forth and we do that across the car so that it makes sure that you get a vehicle in superb condition that you haven't got to go you know a, a couple of hundred yards down the road and change the brakes uh, we make sure that the vehicles are up to their exacting standards and we get inspected about six times a year by the RAC to make sure that we're doing our job properly you'll also get a free RAC warranty with the vehicle generally most of our vehicles are fairly new so they're come they're getting covered by the platinum warranty which is about as good as warranty as I've seen in, in 25 years in the business. That's why we use it. And that's why all the customers that trust us, trust us to make sure we've made the right choice in our, our, our choice of warranty company and our partnership with the RAC. You can uh, extend the six month cover that we give away to three years, uh, either 24 or 36 months total coverage. Um, this also ups the warranty claim limit from a thousand pounds to 4,000 pounds uh, but on any of the policies, there's no limit to how many claims you can make. Um, so that sort of covers that. You do also get a year's free breakdown cover, which you can register. Uh, that's your own choice. That comes uh, with every vehicle that we sell. We also put a brand new MOT on the vehicle. All vehicles are serviced as required. And certainly if the vehicle is within four months or 4,000 miles of requiring a service, we'll do it early. Uh, all the vehicles come with two keys. 
Um, we also do really great finance deals. So if the car is under five years old, uh, it can be uh, done on the PCP scheme, which is a bit like a lease with an option to buy at the end. That can make the payments really manageable. Or you can just do it on a straight HP deal, one to five years. APRs at the moment are somewhere between six and eight percent. It depends how much you're borrowing and over how long. It also does depend on you having an excellent credit uh, rating. If your credit isn't as what they now say excellent, then it can go up a percent or two depending on uh, your credit profile. Uh, as you'll see from our videos, our, our cars all look fantastic. And that's because we do something that really a lot of other car dealers, whether they be main dealers or even top end independents, don't do. We do a full detail on the car, which is like a super posh valet. Um, it takes about seven or eight hours for our guys just to do one car, but they'll go through the entire vehicle, wet, wet vac all the headlines, um, carpets, treat leathers, wet vac seats, boots, under the bonnet. They will cut back all of the paintwork and then machine uh, polish the outside as well. So that when you see the vehicles, they're fantastic. And obviously we prep the vehicles for marks and bits and pieces like that. So actually when you're, when most people, I think probably 95% of people who come here and, and, and look at a car via a video, just come and buy it because they're not disappointed when they turn up uh, by the condition of the vehicle. Well, our main part of our business is actually car sourcing. So my customers have stayed with me for, oh God, how long have we been going now? About 15 or 16 years. And they keep coming back because we're able to find whatever car or van they require for their personal or business use. And um, we do both new and used vehicles, but we predominantly sort of specialize up to about five years old. We don't tend to go too much older than that, unless it's a, a classic or something like that that I want to get involved with. And um, we will do those, but we'll find you whatever make or model if I would buy it myself. Uh, so there are certain cars that I've been asked for that we just wouldn't supply because we don't think they're very good. Um, and in that case, we will help you through, see what you need from a vehicle and uh, suggest some cars to you. We do this a lot for a lot of customers actually, where they're not quite sure what they want. There's lots of choice out there. So they take our advice and we'll send them uh, vehicles that we think after really we, we go through a fact find of what they need, what they're going to spend, uh, what they're using the vehicle and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, I think all that I need to cover. Thank you for watching the video and, uh, hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.